Hey guys, my name is Matt the Musketeer and welcome back to episode 9 of Hazard Cinema's Battlefield 4 Top 5 Plays. So let's jump straight in. So at number 5 this week we have a clip coming in from Ravit and he's playing on Operation Locker. He's moving around trying to make use of that C4 and check out that very interesting kill feed down there. Is that Japanese, Chinese? I don't know, but it looks pretty cool. But he's moving through with a shotgun, he jumps down undetected and oh my word, he has discovered the entire enemy team in the space of one room and he starts to make use of his C4. Now I don't even want to hazard a guess as to how many players he takes out all in one go here, but very, very impressive. I just wish I could have this kind of look when playing on Operation Locker. Now dropping in at number 4 this week, we have a very short and sweet clip coming in from Sean is a potato. We're playing on Hainan Resort and he's parachuting in and I want you to check this out. This is one of the luckiest things I've ever seen. Very nice shooting there Sean, well done. Now coming into third place this week, our first player on the podium with the bronze medal, we have Whoopsie Yaya and it looks like we're playing a little bit of team deathmatch on Dawnbreaker. Now in this video you will see how to put all of the different weapons you have in your class to good use. We're moving around with a SPAS-12 shotgun, making use of those V40 mini grenades and also his P226 pistol. Now he seems to be moving through this enemy team without them even noticing his position. This is a great example of move and fire and not get spotted by the enemy. Now in a TDM game like this, especially on a map like Dawnbreaker, these kind of matches can become very stale with either team sat at either end of the map without making any kind of advancement or movement. So if you can flank behind the enemy like this, you can get a great opportunity to take out a great number of players. But it's got to be said, this clip is helped out a little bit by the fact these enemies just don't seem to see where he is. As I've said before, I'll happily trade my enemy with yours because mine, they seem to shoot back. But all the same, great clip there and well deserved third place for Whoopsie Yaya. Now dropping into second place this week and claiming the silver medal, we have a fiery man and this time we're driving around on Goldmud Railway and he has C4 strapped to the front of the vehicle to get that very clean double kill on the tank at the start there, but he still has his eyes on more of the prize. He sees a second enemy tank and thinks I'm going to wait by the carcass of my first victim to take out my second victim. Now this first honk of C4 here isn't quite enough to take him down, but this second batch, that really does do the job. Now with his third victim in the bag, he lays down to replenish some ammunition while planning out his next strategic move. And as soon as he has, he sees another brand new fresh herd of enemy tanks. He moves into position, but this time, rather than chasing the enemy, he has a better idea. He's going to let the enemy come to him. Now this next segment of gameplay shows a great understanding of enemy awareness. He gets in position, and without even seeing the enemy tank coming, watching those icons, he gets himself another double clean kill. But there is still yet more to come, the great advantage of playing the support class, you can have as much C4 as you like. He waits around and sure enough, he finds another enemy player willing to go to the graveyard. After lathering him up with a fresh new coat of C4 paint, he steps back to claim another final two kills. A great clip there, well deserved second place. And finally this week dropping into first place and claiming the Hazard Cinema Winter Olympics gold medal prize, we have Ooh Legend Ghost Ooh, and we're still running around on Goldman Railway, but this time we're in the tanks rather than taking them out. Now after making light work of this LAV that's chasing him up the hill, he decides to become a mobile anti-air. After making a very sweet shot on this incoming aircraft, boom, he still has one trick left up his sleeve. Good night chopper. A very, very impressive clip there. Now if you guys did enjoy this week's episode of Hazard Cinema's Top 5 Plays, don't forget to hit like and leave your thoughts and comments below, it does massively help out the series. And of course if you want to submit your own clips, all the description and information is down in the description below. And if you want to see more Battlefield 4 content, don't forget to check out my channel, Matt the Musketeer, in the description below. But in the meantime guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.